Hey everybody, welcome to another Wednesday night barbecue and talk show. That's right. Tonight we have two guests. Uh, Monica is having some technical difficulties. Uh, anyhow, like I said, we have two guests tonight. We have Harita from Harita's My Kitchen, uh, My Food. She makes Indian food. She's from India. And I'll tell you what, when I go get Indian food, she's the one I I, I go to. And, and they actually deliver it sometimes too, which is a bonus. I want to say hi to Scott and Craig from Behind the Garage Barbecue. We have White Chipmunk online. Yay. How are you, my friend? Cooking with Steven and Jacqueline. Hello, brother. How are you? Ah, I hope everybody's doing well. I've already got my White Russian going, but uh, we'll do the White Russian cam for the second person. Let's. Uh, I want to share a screen with you real quick. This is my friend Harita's. Uh, it is. Hey, well, we got, hi, we got Monica. Whoa, whoa, whoa. About time you got on here. All right. Third so, time's a charm. Yeah, thank you for showing up, Monica. Chris from uh, Eastman Farms. Hello, cilantro boy. How are you? So this is my friend Harita's, our special guest tonight. She makes killer Indian food. This is her Instagram page. This is my favorite right here. This stuff right here. Biani. Oh, if you guys have never had Biani, you got to try it. I am serious. It is like an Sounds easy good. delicacy. Oh, my gosh. She'll get into that. There's another one up to, up here, too. If you're into street food, and I bet she can make street food like you would not believe. And she's very pretty, too. Are you guys ready to bring her on? <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Yes. All right, guys. Harita, how are you, my friend? Hi. Hi, I'm good. Good. I'm good. good. Hello. Hi. Harita, I want to introduce you to Monica. Hey, Monica, Monica, this is my friend Hi. Harita. She is my Indian food guru, and she just, I don't I don't go anywhere else. Let's put it that way. <laughs> she and her husband last year, they made a delivery to my front door, of all things. And it was like, yes. And it was Biani. And that stuff was gone within an hour. I'm not kidding. Yum. Gone. Yum. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah, you, she's the, is the bomb when it comes to that stuff. I've been to Indian restaurants here in town and actually been Indian restaurant with her husband and Kit. And when I was there, he was like, nope, my wife can do much better. I'm like, <laughs> I got to try it. So, Harita knows I like Beyond. Hey, right? <laughs> and non. And oh man, looks like we got uh, Daddy Dutch Barbecue. Kent, how are you, my friend? All right, Harita, are you ready for some questions? Are you ready, Harita? Looks like she froze. Yes. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Have I? She's waiting on uh, yeah. some needles, waiting for your question, Mike. <laughs> exactly. Harita, are you there? No, oh, I come on in. <laughs> I am. Uh, do you guys hear me? See me? Yep. We yep. can. We can hear Is you just a... fine. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're no? good. You ready? Now I can hear you. Now I can hear you. Yes. Chris from Ace One Farm says, I make yes. chicken makini and naan several times a year. Oh. Wow. That sounds good. If, if, we'll believe it when we see it. If he... <laughs> make a video. <laughs> what, is chick what is chicken mahini? Makhani. So chicken makhani is actually uh, butter chicken. Makhan mm. is uh, butter. And uh, the classic butter chicken is also called as chicken makhani or murg makhani. So it's just uh, the Hindi name for butter. Huh. Right on. Sounds delicious. And yeah. if Chris can make it, so it's it got to be easy. It can't be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> butter chicken. <laughs> Kidding, Chris. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm sure he does right. a great job. Well, yeah, he, he, at least he thinks he does. We like to give Chris crap on this show. He does not like <laughs> cilantro, and we're going to ask you that question later. So, Okay. Harita, what part of India are you from? Uh, so I am from New Delhi, India, the capital of India. And I'm a proper Delhi girl. Uh, that means uh, I love to eat and I love to cook as well. So eating is the greater part. I've always been a foodie. And the cooking came a little later. Uh, I think it was only because of my family and, you know, uh, because I come from a family of uh, chefs, cooks, teachers, engineers, and 
all these things were just a part of you know he was like we would never go out to restaurant okay and it was always at home and uh, my grandfather would take offense if he would uh, try to order something from outside he say when your mom cooks so well when your grandmom cooks so well why do you want to order outside order from outside so uh, Uh, even right now, if you want to plan some surprise for him, it has to be home cooked food, okay. and food for us is celebration. All right. So we have Rush Vlog online. He said, or she says, "Hello, Harita." So thank hey. you for showing up. I appreciate it. Thank you, Rishali. Harita, we may have some bad audio. Are you also watching uh, it on YouTube? No, I have no? stopped everything. No, I'm not. Like, okay. I I connected the screen. Yeah, I can hear her fine, Mike. Okay. All right. I, I think it's oh, you. Sounds good. Yeah, <laughs> Coleman. Or it is Coleman. It could be Coleman. Coleman does not like cilantro, so I'm thinking it's him. Chris from Hobo, how are you? All right, Harita. Where did you learn to cook? So I uh, so we don't learn how to cook. We just observe. That's the thing. Uh, am I audible to you guys? Because I hear people saying that my audio is bad. Yeah, I'm hearing a reverb. Is a reverb of some kind going on? I'm not sure. Oh, now you got. It's now you have an echo, Mike. Whatever, Monica. <laughs> How about now? He's like. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> How about now? Karina, maybe no, back up this that, a little that's bit. That's actually better. It's better. Yeah, now. that's better. That's. Is this fine? Better. Yep, that's perfect. I think it was just some okay. reverb. No worries, no worries. So you didn't actually, okay. nobody actually taught you to cook. You just kind of went out there and just boom, did it. No, so I have been observing my grandmother, my mother, then uh, my uh, in-laws, like everybody, uh, my brother-in-law, my sister, everybody in my house cooks. And I've just been observing everyone and... Uh, that's how we got the hang of it and the first lessons i think i've learned from my grandmother okay is, uh, so she is and, and my grandfather taught me how to make uh, the tortillas the rotis that we cook so the secret to a good roti was taught to me by my grandfather and my grandmother is was my first teacher my mom's been my teacher ever since so uh, it's it's more of observing how they would do it and uh, that's how i picked up so and after i got married i developed interest i had all the time to cook actually because i decided that i will quit my job for some time and just focus on in the newly married okay. and make new food for my husband <laughs> <laughs> Then the kids come along, and next thing you know, you're just. The kids came along later, yeah. I mean, thankfully, my kids also love food, and uh, they're all they're, they're both TV. Okay. But yes, uh, I think uh, only after I got married, I developed this interest. So I've I've cooked like I've cooked from uh, brick hard cakes to burnt rice, which my husband's happily eaten. So <laughs> that's the time okay. when I used to eat that. <laughs> So uh, gradually, like more and more, the more you cook, the more you learn. So yep. That's how it's been. So. so, so let me ask you this. Um, so, like in the United States, there's all sorts of different styles of cooking. Do you have that in India as well? Like New Delhi has a style, Bangalore has a style. So New Delhi, uh, ev I think they say ev every uh, 10 kilometers, the taste changes. I think there's a saying like that. The language and the taste just changes with every few miles. That's how it is in India. There's just so much variety. And uh, uh, I mean, the what I cook is completely different from what my mom used to cook or what, cooked in, what is cooked in my husband's room. And uh, it, it's it's all different. So going to another state is a complete different story. Okay. And uh, uh, and broadly, like I am more into the North Indian style of cooking and uh, the Punjabi style. So uh, like the, the land of butter chicken and paneer butter masala and tandoori chicken. So that's Punjab. So I am more into the Punjabi. So anything I cook, I put a Punjabi touch to it. So if I'm making a pasta. 
uh, I'll probably make a makhani pasta, like how oh, Chris sure. does it. So, so that that's what so that's my style, and uh, so it's it's it it just varies, and the spices, the herbs that you use, everything changes. So, yeah. Uh, some, so a place like Bangalore or the southern part of India has more of coconut influence, and it's all very regional. Okay. It depends on you know uh, the, the the local area, the climate conditions that you're brought up in. They play a huge role in the kind of food you cook and you eat. The ways of cooking it all depends on that. I love that so, coconut, the the coconut flavoring. Oh yes, coconut, that's oh yes. So coconut is it just gives so much of fresh flavor to anything you add to. And yeah. I had never used coconut, you know, until I uh, came here and until I went and I did my engineering. I did it from the southern part of India and India. And uh, their uh, like coconut curry, they play such a huge role in their uh, life. And you know, I just got addicted to that flavor. Yeah, it is. It's, so, it is addicting. So, hey, Arita, uh, we're, I mean, we're still getting comments that maybe there may uh, there's still an echo. Oh, uh, are your speakers on? Maybe speaker is on. Uh, can you hear me now? Bit? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly now. Is yeah, this maybe. good? Yes, that is great. Oh, yeah, okay. there's just a little bit of an echo still. but Maybe if you turn on down your speakers a little bit. Yes, um, I think that I'll that. Help. That might help, yeah. Is this is this good? Hello, hello, mic check. Yep. Mic testing. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can hear you. Okay. okay. Well, we'll just power through it. No biggie. Right. <laughs> I don't know. East Wind Farm says no. I don't know. I'm sorry. You can't hear my beautiful voice. <laughs> I was an actor in Bollywood. Yes, I was. Whoop, whoop. You know, and Ankit, Ankit, if you have headphones, that would be great. Let's try that real quick. And okay, yes. While we do the headphones, I'll talk happen. about Bollywood. I'll talk about my time in Bollywood. I yes. was, uh, yeah, I was a, uh, uh, I was a very sought after actor and uh, voiceover. I did a wonderful job, uh, Chris. And uh, yeah, as soon as uh, Ankit gets some headphones, <laughs> we'll talk yeah, more. That's what I, I don't know. Why is he not acting that fast? <laughs> hey, Ankit, get some headphones. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> well, while we wait for Ankit, he must have started playing his video game and, you know, uh, get off he his video the game. Headphones. There he is. There he is. Yeah. No video games, Ankit. Jeez. We want tech support now, right? Yeah, at least. <laughs> my, PR, my tech support. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I was the Van Dam of Hollywood. Yes, I was. A Bollywood. Yes, I was, Chris. I was. Okay, can you guys hear me? My <laughs> yes, I can. I can hear okay. you just fine. I hope this is it's I hope better. this is better. Yeah, there's, still some, there's still some crackle going on, but what do you do? Let's just Hello. move on. Hello. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Let's, let's I think talk. I think that I think the sound sounds better. Let's all talk okay. real quiet, okay? okay? Let's all talk real quiet it's so Chris has so quiet. Quiet. <laughs> Chris, can you hear us? <laughs> hush, so hush. what what are you <laughs> so um you, I, the next question I was going to ask you is, what is the difference between spices and meats, or what what makes them different? And you were you were saying based upon climate, it's a, you know like they use, tend to use more coconut, etc. Like right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Perfect. so so the thing is that uh, India is basically the land of spices. That's what they say. That's why everybody was interested. You know, so many hundred years ago in India. So. We have a lot of spices. A lot of spices came from other parts of the world as well. But somehow we have just incorporated everything in our uh, cuisine. So uh, a place like Punjab, you know, where, where or, or New Delhi, the northern part of India, would use more of uh, things like a big cardamom, black pepper. The the kind of masalas that you, the, the spices that you make, the proportions of these whole spices, that is what varies. And okay. also the herbs that you use, 
so like i was talking about uh, curry leaves so uh, people in the western country, western side of india or the southern part of india use curry leaves a lot there are certain places that use mustard seeds a lot so these are certain typical things that you know differentiate the kind of food it's it's the the dishes most of the di dishes might be same but their taste changes so a simple potato curry that uh, i would make in a place like delhi is different from the potato curry that's made in the southern part of india because they'll use they'll tend to use curry leaves i'll tend to use some other set of whole spices and the same potato curry just changes when it goes to the eastern part of india or the central part of india so it's the same potato but it's just made in so many different ways because of the kind of spices you use it's like and, the, um, we do the same thing yeah yes so uh, i mean uh, i myself getting you know accustomed to and i'm learning about the food that you have in the us although they say you us doesn't like americans don't have a cuisine or anything but they do like you go to any state and you know there there is a typical dish that is associated to that uh, state and the kind of flavors that you use the kind of meat you use so uh, gotcha. that that's how it is in india so uh, and that's what so what i make is more of uh, you know uh, it's going to be spicy it's going to be hot so there's a difference so i learned that there's a difference between hot food and spicy food <laughs> and uh, so hot food is like with lots of chilies spicy food is like with lots of different spices and chili may not be uh, a spice like uh, red chili or green chili you may not be using that in a spicy food me you may be using black peppers you know or uh, cloves to give that uh, uh, that that chi that uh, hot uh, that hot taste to your food so that's what uh, differentiates so that's what it is okay so when you cook what is your go-to spice or spices uh so uh i like the uh aromatic set of spices so there are certain spices that have a very nice aroma to them and coriander seeds are one of those they are like my absolute favorite and uh uh they are like i how i prefer using them is mind mildly crushing them and just sprinkling it after my dish is cooked and i just sprinkle it over it so it has a very nice and a very uh uh you know a very charismatic aroma to it that's what i say i mean i just do this and it makes me feel i'm in heaven that's what that's my go to spice Right and then of course uh, there is one spice which my husband absolutely does not want me to ever use and so you uh, use it all the time i use it all the time because i love it it's the star <laughs> anise i absolutely oh. love the anise uh, oh, that we get yes the star anise yeah, i absolutely like love it yeah but he doesn't so <laughs> we're kind of uh, you know okay one time i use one time i'm not so uh, these are two things that uh, and i love uh, fresh uh, coriander cilantro okay i absolutely somebody love has, somebody's asked that you talk about uh what is your favorite talk about oh actually it's not somebody it's my buddy darnell medley who's a retired from the army thank you for your service what is harita's favorite american dish to make Okay, so I'm not sure if it is uh, because I am from like I live in Idaho. Uh, I love using the Idaho potatoes to make the mashed potato. That okay. uh, and I'm not sure if it is American. I'm sorry. Mashed potatoes? <laughs> it doesn't get more American than that. Maybe a little <laughs> Irish, but uh, seriously, so what I would love, you? Well, you do mashed potatoes. What do you put in them? <laughs> I, I love rosemary. Uh, okay. with, oh, I uh, saw so I am. Yeah. I I just love it, and I can just have it as it is. I mean, I don't even need a steak or a piece of meat with it. Oh, I love uh, it. I, I, this non on some non non on a. So <laughs> as it is, I love experience. potatoes, and uh, you know, you land up in the state of potato, the potato state, and you're so. <laughs> I mean, it's like heaven. <laughs> yes, and do you so, put gravy uh, on it. So I, 
no unless the, the only the butter so unless there is a piece of meat alongside the mashed potatoes that i'm doing i don't make a gravy i don't use a gravy so okay. uh, i can just have mashed potato like that just like that no butter to. no butter nothing uh, no, uh, with the butter with the butter oh, okay okay yeah with the butter Those no gravy <laughs> <laughs> with the butter uh, no no gravy so unless there is a piece of meat alongside and mm -hmm. mostly like at home we only cook uh, chicken or goat okay i sometimes do fish uh, but we don't do any other kind of meat we don't do any other kind of meat at home so when i go out and i have food outside is i try different types of meats so uh, you get a gravy alongside so well, but i, I know what i'm getting food. next weekend <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Harita, Darnell would like to know as well, what is your favorite Indian dish to make? And please say biryani. Okay, <laughs> okay biryani. <laughs> you know what? I actually uh, come to, I actually love doing the classic curries that you get. Uh, a, cla a, a very staple chicken curry or a, a butter chicken or a paneer dish. I love doing that. Uh, biryani is something uh, it's uh, it's taken time for me to you know uh, understand uh, what a good biryani means i've had biryani all through my life but until and unless i started cooking it i didn't realize that uh, uh, what magic that dish holds uh, where, you know when you take the it first really does. bite it, it really does. does you know yeah. it starts from the aroma you start again and and i must give the credit to my like i must give the credit to my brother in law anish bhaiya my uh, he is the biryani expert in our family and uh, he uh, he keeps giving me tips around biryani and uh, he loves to cook as well so uh, he is the man behind uh, the biryani that i make i okay. i am proud to say that well, I so should, uh, i am I, Bobo, you improved on it <laughs> I love her. I love your excitement for food. It's so funny. It is, it's I fun. love it. Yeah, it's great you to know, see that. So, so, what my so my family laughs at this. This is a joke in our family that you take any food item's name in front of Harita and you will see water dripping out of her mouth. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I start salivating this by the name of and so they actually uh, did a, a photograph for me for my birthday last week. Uh, I have to happy pictures. birthday, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so they did. So they, I, I have so many pictures of me, you know, taking a big bite of uh, any food <laughs> item that I have. And I think Mike used that one of those pictures, the cake picture, uh, for his flyer this time. So my family was so yes, that's sweet. what I used. Yeah, they actually. So they actually took pictures of them imitating me with a piece of uh, food <laughs> item and yeah. they made a collage out of it. So it was really Funny. cute on their part. That's cute. <laughs> That's cute. So, uh, Harita, yeah. and I, I think I know the answer to this because you've been over to our house and we did barbecue. Do you enjoy American barbecue? I remember the last, when you guys were here, your son was painting on my house. Yes. <laughs> They're yeah. still there, yeah. by the way. But I love yes, it, is, and yeah. uh, we did we did chicken and and stuff like that. So you do like yeah. American barbecue? Yes, okay. yes. Uh, I've start. You know, I've developed the taste for the barbecue sauce that you have. Right. Uh, initially, I did not like it. Uh, it took me some time to, and more so credit goes to you and a couple of other friends who are, have always been kind enough to invite us for barbecues and the sauces that you guys do at home. I don't know, you mix all the bottle spices or you make it yourself, the sauces that you make, it's really tasty. So you know, uh, I think I got the Sweet Baby flavor Ray from... does a really good job. Sweet <laughs> Baby Ray rocks. So... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that is what, so so I've, I've developed this love for the barbecue sauce very recently. And I've started doing my own uh, uh, chicken wing version of it. Uh, when really? I use the barbecue sauce, but I also use a couple of Indian spices to okay. give it a nice twist. And I can uh, go to your house this I, weekend. Hmm. Yeah, actually, uh, I had, I don't know, last year something happened. You guys didn't turn up for Atar's birthday. I, and that is when I, yeah. 
I think Ooh. your sister or his brother. <laughs> yes, I was so bummed too. I'm like, I remember that. So, so actually, I had made that uh, oh. keeping you in mind. <laughs> but anyway, I I will drop it off sometime soon. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Karen says, "Sweet baby, very sucks." Well, yeah, he it does, but you know, in a pinch, in a pinch. Okay, how did she end up in Idaho? Somebody's asking, "How did she end up yes. in Idaho?" How I said, "Match made in with, match made in heaven." Potatoes and Harita cannot stay <laughs> apart. <laughs> That's well, awesome. we're lucky you didn't end up in Russia because they're the number one producers of yeah, well. no, no, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy uh, as long as the geographical location is anywhere in America. So, <laughs> or or that to have you. So basically, my husband. Go ahead, go ahead, Rita. Uh, so, so it's basically my husband uh, got had to move here for work, and that's where I uh, moved along with him. And I had an eight month old. So, and now I have like then I had my second son here in Idaho. So he is like the elder one is proud of Idaho. He just loves this place. In fact, it's interesting. His birthday is next Saturday, and uh, the theme for his birthday is Idaho. So Hello. I'm going to do an Idaho. <laughs> he just loves. So I've been looking for all uh, Idaho related things, and he wants me to do an Idaho shaped cake. So I said, glad we stay in a state like Idaho. The shape is very easy. I can easily oh, do it on a cake. Right on. Have you seen so, the, the the ice cream potato? The ice cream potato that uh, was it Westside uh, Lou Aaron? Oh, is his name Lou Aaron? The chef Lou Aaron does. It's no. um, it's a, it's a potato ice cream potato, okay. and um, so basically they take um a big, I don't know maybe what two or three scoops of um vanilla ice cream um, then they okay. roll it in cocoa powder, okay, and then. They put a slice in it like it's, you know, you're going to slice open a, a potato. And oh. um, so it's across the top. And then they put whipped cream and, and nuts. And wow, I'm not sure. Mike, have, have you had one? I have not. Really? Oh I, could, I, I think I should try this at home. Very I much so. But those would be kind of cute to do for his birthday, like little ones. Yeah. Thanks for That'd the idea, fun. Monica. I'm definitely going to try that. But I have, I, we, we have seen the Idaho, the big potato Idaho hotel. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. At the air, they've made it into an Airbnb. So it's like a potato shaped. Uh, oh, I've seen that, yeah. Uh, you've seen it. So uh, we've been there a couple of times. And uh, once all this COVID thing settles, uh, me and my husband, we are definitely taking the kids there for a staycation. So that's one place I really want to uh, go so it's 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 a it's a huge giant potato in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so that's kind of <laughs> Wait, where is this at? Where is this at? It's it's I think hardly 20 30 miles off Boise. Uh, I don't know the exact. Uh, it's 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 near some army base they have just on the outside of Boise. Uh, oh, Mount Hollywood. I haven't seen it, but that sounds oh. interesting. It sounds fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right, here's yeah. a, well, here's a question for you, Arita. Can yeah. Ann Kit, your husband, cook? Oh, yes. Yeah? We, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I must give the credit to my uh, mom-in-law and dad-in-law for this. My Like, uh, they uh, have trained their boys so well. <laughs> uh, and uh, a, a large part of what I do right now, uh, I think I owe to... Uh, my husband, I mean, okay. uh, uh, he uh, is the, like, uh, he I has he been, <laughs> I, am I crying? No, I thought he drank. That's all he did. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've never seen him cook. <laughs> no, he, he does a good job. I mean, uh, whenever I need a change of taste, he's there and uh, he kind of, he's, he's very patient in his cooking. He cooks. He he cooks with his heart. That's the best part. And uh, my mom is an absolute uh, fan of the chicken he cooks. So uh, yeah, that's uh, a plus. Uh, he <laughs> yeah, that's a plus. And uh, he he he's a fab cook. He he cooks very well. Like I think everybody and and everybody in my family like 
from my grandfather to father to my father-in-law to my brother-in-laws everybody cooks so well so and and it's like a constant fight in our house who's going to cook so <laughs> like it, it's the joke we share that uh, there are places like there are houses in this uh, in india where they're like who's going to cook you cook you cook you cook they're like no i cook i cook i cook so we have this like everybody is fighting that no i will cook today so we have like uh, too many cooks definitely not spoiling the broth but it's fun <laughs> to be part of such a family you know everybody loves to cook everybody loves to eat and everybody enjoys food yeah. so we got really, two, we got two questions for you one okay. is from jean how did harita go from cooking authentic foods to baking awesome decorated cakes okay so i think baking is what uh, was given to be by my mother uh, she is an awesome baker and uh, i uh, do not remember any birthday party i think just apart from my fifth birthday uh, when she couldn't bake a cake for me or like she's always baked cakes at home and uh, like she's been a baker ever since so uh, and she's made all sorts of cake like she she made a 3d rocket cake back in uh, 1998 i think so that was a big thing like we never even used to get you know enough materials to make a good cake or something but she would manage uh, things she made a swiss roll she made a standing rocket and i remember and like she 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 does awesome cakes so my sister uh, like uh, picked up from her i wasn't into baking that much so like i told you like i've baked cakes that are that are as hard as bricks and my husband's been kind enough to eat them also <laughs> but right. like almost 10 12 years back but yes i've come a long way and uh, in fact this morning just this morning i did a cake for somebody's birthday so i feel very happy every time i bake and my kids they love the cakes that i do so the moment their like birthday ends they're already planning their next year's birthday so this idaho cake is in the uh, planning since last year's birthday so last wow. year i did a airplane uh, 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 an airplane shaped cake for them and the moment the party got over my son was like mama next for sixth birthday seventh birthday i want idaho cake for eighth birthday i need a cake <laughs> i was like hold on hold on <laughs> let me get over the the party that i have done just right now so we'll do what in the next year later so well, here's the cake are you doing what, what kind perfect. of cake are you doing for idaho sorry are you going to make a potato cake <laughs> no 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 i'm going to do a idaho shaped cake a chocolate cute. idaho so it's going That's to be cute. in the shape of idaho and i'm going to do some cookies for him and i've already uh, ordered some uh, souvenirs uh, for him in the shape of idaho uh, i got, i met some couple of uh, local uh, uh, business owners you know who do yeah uh, i stuff did you get some stuff from the idaho um or the commission was it the idaho potato commission no i haven't oh. i've i oh, just contacted local oh do they <laughs> oh yeah i just got to go go you just got to go ask them they'll give you some nice oh. stuff too Okay, nice I'll yeah. definitely check it if it's for free. <laughs> Some good swag for free. <laughs> so, Marina, yeah, Dar Darnell wants to know: Do you like Yukon or Idaho potatoes? What's your favorite potato? Uh, honestly, I don't know Yukon, but I love Idaho potatoes, okay. and I love the golden potatoes that you get here. The yeah, the the, the yellow russet. golden potatoes that we I get. Think those are Yukons, not the like russet ones. Uh, not the rusted. Uh, Idaho potatoes are little buttery. They they okay. they 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 get mashed easily. At, uh, yeah, like those, I think those are Yukons. They're like really yeah, buttery. So, so just like oh yeah. But uh, I like the yellow potatoes that you get. Uh, okay. They are good for a uh, certain type of uh, street foods that we do. So the uh, the potato patty that we call alu tikki, uh, like. the uh, the tikki that uh, we serve it's 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 nothing but the potato the patty that you make so that comes out well with the yellow potatoes okay so that, that these are the two and of course i use the assorted baby potatoes for a couple of dishes uh i don't know if you guys have heard of dam alu it's a authentic kashmiri dish that's like top north like the more northernmost state of india kashmir 
that oh, comes from yeah. there. So that's made with baby potatoes. Uh, and uh, I just use the assorted uh, red, purple, and uh, uh, yellow potato bag that you get uh, for the, the, the baby potato, assorted baby potatoes that you get. So I use that for damalu. And it's a yogurt-based curry with fennel, fennel being the main uh, spice in it. So I uh, prefer that. Okay. And yes, well, Ann Kit uh, wants to know if I cook Indian food. No, I have your wife do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I hope it remains that way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it didn't change. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, let's see. Somebody said out here, cooking and grilling with Coleman. I love this. The Dude's Indian Kitchen and Grill. You betcha, buddy. Oh, I yeah. love that idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be awesome. So, so the tandoori chicken. I don't know if you guys have had the tandoori chicken. Uh, that's like uh, that is a that is a barbecue chicken. That is okay. it's 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 a yogurt based marination. You know, you put lots of spices in it, ginger, garlic, and uh, you marinate the chicken for like twelve hours uh, in the refrigerator, and then you just. Uh, uh, put it on the barbecue grill and it comes out awesome. And you serve mm -hmm. it, you just squeeze some lemon over it Yum. and it just uh, comes out of like awesome. Nice. So it's like I'm already getting water in my mouth. <laughs> <So> <laughs> <amazing>. <laughs> Arita, do you, um, do you make your, um, like it's the only time I've ever seen them. So I didn't know if other um, um, nationalities or if other areas of the world make them, but um, they're fennel, they're like candy coated fennel seeds. And you guys use them like as a like you put them in a little candy dish like and um, uh, I don't know after, so you eat them like after you eat basically yes. it's just settled the stomach and um, it's it's a mouth thing. freshener yeah it's a mouth freshener so do you make uh, that do you make no. this like by hand no. oh, okay no no we just, I just get the 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 green colored fennel seeds and uh, uh, you know uh, the the candied ones. Uh, yes, I don't, uh, I've never seen them being used in any dish, but that's oh. a great idea. I mean, they, they just look like the sprinkles uh, that yeah. you put on the cake. So right. it could be like if you do a very Indian flavored cake, uh, say with cardamom or something like that, they might just, I mean, that's a, that's an awesome idea. But yeah, they, they're mostly used as mouth fresheners and uh, they just make you feel settled after a heavy meal. Yeah. So yeah. it it just gives a very you know you you finally feel that yeah you're done. I love so, those things, man. They're really yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> so they're, they're I want to really find good. somebody that makes them so I can figure out how to make them. You know what? You go, I can actually send you. Uh, you get them at the Indian store. I can actually send them for you. Yeah. Uh, I, just to try my hand uh, I am really not sure how they make it, uh, mm, and either. that's something we've never even thought. That we should make it at home. <laughs> That's something you just go to the store, grab a box, and have it. <laughs> so I'm gonna rein this back in, guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's what you get for having a co-host. <laughs> I know, I know. Right. Crazy tangents, crazy. No, I'm loving it. I love. Her, I, I love your passion. It is amazing. It's amazing. Um, what is your kids' favorite meal? The boys. The boys, you know, they are they love chicken and they love pasta. I love Uncle Mike's barbecue chicken. They will absolutely they, they love any type of chicken. They they love spicy chicken. Uh they love any kind of chicken. And the and and they also like uh, the staple roti that we eat. Uh the 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 chapati, the flatbread. So yeah. they love it. So my uh, younger one is like crazy. He, he wakes me up at 2 o'clock in the night and tells me I want to eat a roti. Oh, wow. So, uh, like <laughs> I tell him to go back and listen to some Pitbull and we'll talk about it in the morning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's above Pitbull now. He's into oh, Believer and the new Post Malone, whatever those new things are. He's, he's into those. <laughs> he's up, up and beyond uh, Pitbull now. So he loves rotis and uh, they like the lentil, the, the, the very basic lentil soup that we make the dal so they like that and i'm very happy that they do so uh, you give them dal roti or dal rice or just chicken pasta they'll be happy so, so chris from eastwind farms has something really a cool idea 
So I use okay. Uncle Steve's shake almost exclusively for everything. And he says, okay. great idea for Steve, Texas style Indian shake. That's kind of a cool idea. I oh. like that. Uh, I am actually, you know, uh, working on some spices, some like I try to make my spices at home, the the, the mixture. So uh, I can like if I come up with something good, I'm more than happy to share it with him. Yeah, and Uncle Steve's and, great. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to him about it. Thank you, Chris, for that idea. Yeah. That's Darnell idea. wants to know if you're still in India. No, Darnell, she's in Boise, Idaho right now. So, yeah, yeah, I'm in yeah, India. She's, she's awesome. So, uh, and Dano, Dano's pit patio is here. Thank you very much for showing up. Appreciate it. So, Harita, what's the next step for your business? Are you thinking about catering or anything like that? or? So, Mike, right now what I do is uh, I do catering. Uh, uh, oh, I didn't very small that. Scale. Yeah, I okay. do small scale catering, like 10 people, 20 people, not more than that. Uh, because I uh, don't want to just get overboard with things and I don't want to test myself to a limit which I just where I just go and spoil everything. Gotcha. So gradually, it's like scaling up the quantity that you can okay. cook. So like, uh, I just started it off as, you know, uh, two people wanted food. Uh, they were missing home and they said, we want uh, home cooked food. And that is how I started. So I, instead of four, I was cooking for six people. And then gradually it grew. So, okay. and with the pandemic uh, coming into place, things have completely changed. Now people... Uh, no longer want home cooked food because they're done eating the home cooked food. They want, they want outside food now. So then I changed. Now I've changed my, uh, you know, style of cooking the the items that I offer, the food dishes that I offer. So earlier I was more into the regular home cooked food that uh, people were missing. You know, after a busy day's work at, uh, you know, busy day at work, you come back home and you don't want to eat from outside. You want a very basic dal roti or rice or something like that or a, or a dry veggie to go along which makes you feel you know you are full and it makes you feel that no you've not eaten any junk so i've moved from that i had to change what i was doing completely post uh, uh, the lockdown ended and we were you know when we moved on to the uh, phase 3 that's when i restarted gotcha so now what i do is i try uh, to include a variety of options that you know you normally would not cook at home and it's always better if someone else does it for you so okay. that's what that's where i have okay. gone now okay. so and i do catering so and and i would love like i have catered a couple of very typical american uh, households for their uh, parties and i would love to do more of that because uh, uh, a change is always good so right. every time you go to a roast chicken and you know some salad or anything so that's that's like a normal for an american household so i just want to do this that you know give this also a try once in a while sure. when you have a family gathering and uh, uh, let the food do the talking for you there because you when you eat uh, with a plate uh, full of you know uh, different kind of food that you've not had this this so much you know the scope of conversation just increases so right. there's so many different things you can talk apart from the usual so uh, i would love to cater to you know very typical american households who have not yet tried this kind of food and are you know game enough to experiment it so interesting so Chris wants to know how many family and friends from India do you have near you? Uh, uh, so um, family. So I have my uh, immediate family with me here in California. Uh, um, Ankit's elder sister stays here, and I have two of my brothers, uh, my maternal cousins, and a paternal cousin of mine, a sister. They are in the U.S. Uh, we do meet often. Uh, if you talk about Boise, we have uh, a growing Indian community, Asian community, I would say. So if, if that is what he means yeah. Yeah. Uh, with friends and family. Quite so a few actually, and right? Yes, we have a good number and it's, it's, it's only increasing. Uh, and uh, like people are moving, 
or people who've been staying here for the last 20 years like there are people who've been staying here for the last 30 years indians and they tell us that you know when we came here there wasn't even a store that would cater to indian kind of food you know yeah. uh, you would not get uh, the basic flour the rice the spices over the years it has grown so uh, and and uh, i think you guys would see it at the workplace as well there are uh, a good number of uh, asians south asians that you see so we have people from india pakistan bangladesh sri lanka so the oh. Oh, and nepal so yeah the five the, the five uh, uh, countries that make the southern the south asian continent so uh, you have a good number and like we have two indian store two stores that cater to you know the uh, south asian uh, kind of food so that's also good like that's that's a plus so you get there is a lot of variety and you get lots of options so you can uh, this, this it's just growing so it's good Okay. In a way, okay. so so, so Darnell wants. To, yeah, you got a lot of friends. Yeah, and it kind of fluctuates too, right? Because I've I've yeah. seen you know worked with you guys for a long time, and I've seen them come and go. So yeah, yeah. So Darnell yeah, wants. That. Yeah, yeah, at, at work. Yeah, I'm sorry. Darnell wants to know if you were still living in India, what would your international cuisine be? So, you know, the best part is that in India, you will find all sorts of Indian cuisines and they've all, uh, all sorts of international cuisines from Mexican to Italian to Chinese. And they have all been Indianized by the oh. local vendors. Kind of so, like we do here in the States. We Americanize yeah. everything. Yes. Yes. Gotcha. So, uh, so you have uh, pizzas being served by the street vendors and it's like... Uh, Thank you. Hi, so, so, <laughs> he's gone. so, so, uh, there is no like, and and now uh, there are a lot. You know, so you have Taco Bell in India as well, and places like that. Uh, I hop all these places. Hi, Mike. <laughs> you have all these places here. So uh, there is no limit to what uh, the international cuisine can do in India. It's already there, and it's already been Indianized. So okay. we really need to save that. <laughs> it's good in a way. I feel it's good in a way. And that's what I also have in my cooking. Anything that I take, like I try to give it that Indian touch, uh, probably by using one particular spice or maybe, you know, the way it is cooked. So uh, gotcha. that's what, like, I told you the It's just like we take yeah. Southern food and, and make it yeah. a Northwest food or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's yeah. I think that that's Thank just you. normal for people. You know, I don't care yes. where you live. I, th I think it's just normal. It's, it's just, you know. So you know, you're, I you're feel as long as... Of... What's sorry, that? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no, I was just saying that it's just all over. It's it's what we do. It's, it's as people, you know, it, it's yeah. what we have available to us. And we say, hey, yeah. I really like this, you know, but uh, I don't have A, B, and C, so I'm going to use what I got. Yeah. You know, any, yeah. any run with this. So. Question for you. We're going to move into the fun part of this. Okay. Chris brought it up earlier. Bollywood. Hey, Kelly, how are you? Kelly was our guest last week. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah. Hi, Kelly. Yeah. I hope she remembers me. <laughs> yeah, Kelly does. She was like, is she actually coming over to your house and cooking? No, Cowbell, she's not. <laughs> so um, Chris brought up Bollywood. And that obviously, I'm an actor in Bollywood, and I'm, a, I'm an A-plus actor. Aside from oh, me, wow. who would you want playing your part in your in your life at Bollywood? Is Bollywood's making a movie of Harita? Who plays you? Aside oh, wow. from me, who plays you? <laughs> you can't pick Monica wow. or Kelly or Chris or anybody either. <laughs> I don't know if you guys even or know me. the names. Oh, you want me to name people from amongst well, you? Who, who would who would play Harita? Uh, maybe I even Monica, even in America. I think I think Monica should play me. <laughs> Monica? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't cook any Indian food. But that's so okay. Know, In movies, okay. anyway, there is always a back end. Yeah, there's In always Oscar. a back end. Your job is only to act. <laughs> Everything else is done by someone else. Don't worry. <laughs> you just need to act. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, so, Monica. <laughs> 
I can I can make cake. I can make cake. I can do that. So you know what? But, uh, cake. I would like. I, like, I have started doing very typical Indian style cakes, as in uh, the kind of. Uh, cream that you get on top of the cake is very typical to the local bakeries in india and it's different from what you get uh, in the western countries and uh, that is something i would miss here so uh, we like uh, you have the american buttercream the american swiss meringue buttercream the italian swiss meringue buttercream you have so many different types so there is a very typical indian bakery style cream that you get and uh, i've started doing those cakes because i was badly did you put do you put a uh, star star anise in them no no it actually <laughs> it actually doesn't need any external flavor it's just the way you beat it is what yeah. does the magic yeah. and then uh, <laughs> beat it <laughs> so, it's how you so beat it I, it's how you beat it so i was actually missing that uh, typical pineapple cake that you get in india oh, and uh, i have started doing that and okay. one of my friends uh who is an american really craves for that cake now because she says that no i was just craving for your kind of pineapple cuz so i was like okay cool so uh, i've start that is the reason why i started doing cakes was like Uh, I don't like. I don't make those big fondant toppers, and you know all those. I mean, I have done that in the past when I was living in the UK, and you know, I was like, this was all very new, and I would try different kinds of uh, designs, shapes. But now I've come to realize that cake is something uh, should cater to a time when you are crying and you need a plate full of cake and you're eating it, or when you're very happy. I you just need to indulge in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could say that you could say that but for those who have a sweet tooth like uh, so that is where i get okay. like i i the idea of cake you know for me is that so when you're happy when you're sad you don't need a a big cake you know with a fondant toppers falling out of it and showing this and that you just need good cream good uh, the the cake a good filling and when you take one bite it should just uh, give you Ten thousand different flavors, and uh, you should feel happy. You should forget what you're like, whether you're happy or you're sad. You should forget that. Don't so that's what I'm trying. Eat cake, right? Yeah. All right. So that's what I'm trying. Here's a question for you. This is a tough one. This one blew me away last week. So you weren't here, Monica. Sorry, you're a loser. But this one blew me away. I thought for sure <laughs> that cilantro was going to be even, and I got denied. Oh man, I was so bazinga! Awesome. Exactly, that? bazinga! It so is, what is the... four for yes, six for no. Harita, are you team cilantro yeah. or not? She likes cilantro. She just said it earlier. You know, I said that <laughs> I, uh, I am actually team cilantro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. I'm we're sorry, still ahead. You we're still have, ahead. You still have to play. <laughs> In my Bollywood movie, you are still playing. You are still doing. Uh, okay. Even if I'm yep, not, she's out. She's out. Even if I'm not playing. <laughs> Arita, even you've been I'm... a wonderful guest. I, you know, I, I wish we had all the time in the world. You have been such a no, wonderful thank guest. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do you have anything else you'd like to say to us? Uh, any words of advice uh, starting a business or anything? Well. Uh, I don't know. Definitely I'm still learning. Back on now. Best Indian I'm, food store. Best Indian food store in Boise. So I know where to get some uh, uh, more. Yes, please, uh, please. Uh, where, uh, 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 you which, can go to India Foods on Fairview Avenue, and you will oh, get okay. it. You will get a variety of uh, those. Uh, you will get a variety of fennel seeds, and uh, they're just lovely. Not just the candied yeah. ones, but there are different, there are others also. Do they have so, the cumin, the cumin uh, tea there also? I like the cumin tea, tea as well. No, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. But you have a couple mm. of tea leaves. Uh, like there are different options you have. So you can cool. definitely, yeah. So I'll check it out. It. And when you need biryani, you know where to come. There you Alrighty go. there. <laughs> All right, guys. Harita, <laughs> thank you so much for being thank our you guest. So You've been Hi. wonderful. Hi. You know, happy happy birthday. To hang out with us. <laughs> happy birthday, late birthday, and your son's birthday's coming up. Gene. Yes, next hint, week. Hint, hint. 
So she's making chicken wings. Hello. So guys, I need to uh, answer the front door. Oh boy, here we okay. go. That is code for having a small bladder. And, uh, every week, every week we every do this. Week, and I will be back where we have El Drew Areno is our second okay. guest. 